But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of strange. But I guess maybe that's good. <laughs> so I just officially booked an Airbnb to Georgia. To Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm going on January 1st, 2021. And I don't know what to expect yet. I've never done an Airbnb before, but I am a little bit nervous, to be honest. I haven't traveled this far away from Michigan ever. Wait, like on my own. This is the farthest I've ever gone on my own. I've gone to Cleveland, Ohio for work and acting, but I've never gone this far by myself and it's a little bit intimidating but to be honest I'm up for the adventure and I can't wait to see what Atlanta has in store for me. If nothing else I just want to experience a different city for a week and feel it out and maybe possibly get an apartment. I feel like I've heard good things about Atlanta and their entertainment industry there and that's what I'm interested in doing. If nothing else, I just need a vacation because this year has been very stressful. I had said previously in a video that I was going to go to LA, but after looking into things and feeling out my options, Atlanta is a bit more affordable and has many opportunities. Traveling alone is something I haven't done a lot of, but this will be a new experience and I like new experiences. So. In one of the first Star Wars, the guy goes out on his own and it's a big thing. And I feel like this is my big moment where I go off and do my first big thing in my life. I'm 22, I have a college degree, and I'm about to take on the world for the first time. And this is what that moment is. And it feels like this is that moment for me. So like, I'm excited, but I'm terrified. But I need to do it. I need to go and attack my dreams. So I'll be in Michigan for the holidays, but then I'm heading to Atlanta. And uh, I'll see how that goes. I picked January 1st because I felt like it was symbolic. I felt like it captured like a fresh start. I wanna start the new year off in a new city. So as for the rest of tonight, I think I'm gonna keep watching Game of Thrones. I just started watching that and it's pretty cool. Now I need to go through all those boxes back there. I hope it goes well. I hope I don't like get there and then there's something weird about the Airbnb and I have to um, like get a hotel or something. I don't know how that works if it doesn't work out. Like what happens if you get there and it's like crazy? Like the person who's hosting it is like one of those people in a horror movie and it's just like terrible and I like, get attacked by ghosts or something. What do you do if like the Airbnb is like terrible? Like what do you, do you get your money back? Cause it's not like cheap. Like, it's like way more than rent would be in the same area for that place. So, all right, I'm gonna go get a glass of wine and I'll be right back. <laughs> hey. My sister got this wine topper thing that you pop open and it's supposed to make it pour better. So. <laughs> Cheers. Also have this LaCroix and I like these a lot too. Dude, I don't know anybody, like I don't know anybody in Atlanta, Georgia. So I don't know how that's gonna work out because like I have no friends and no connections at all. So like, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> like I hope I can sign with a talent agency and maybe take some classes and get to know some people, but I have no leads on any of that yet. Um, like I've heard of a few different agencies and I've heard of a few different places where you can take acting classes, but for the most part, I have no idea what Atlanta is like. So I'm, I'm excited to see like what the city even looks like. I have no idea. 
but LA is kind of shut down right now. So I decided that this might be the better move for me at the moment, but I hope to eventually get to LA, but it's also a lot more expensive. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out because it's like houses are like a million bucks there. Like how, <laughs> like how are you supposed to make a million dollars <laughs> for a house? Like that doesn't, like, that doesn't make sense. Like, like from acting, like hopefully I can someday afford like a two bedroom house or something. But like, how is somebody that's like aspiring to be an actor supposed to pay like for a million dollars for like a house, like, or like even a working actor, like a million bucks, it's like crazy. But I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I have a degree, so hopefully that can help. Like hopefully if like things go terribly, I, I have my degree and hopefully like an ad agency would hire me as some type of low level position. I don't know, but oh man, like I really feel like this is like a big moment though. Cause it's like in the movies when the person like drives off to their destination, like I'm driving 12 hours to Georgia and I feel like it's like in Adventureland when the main character drives to New York or like in Molly's game when she drives to California, I feel like this is my moment and I feel like I'm not trying to be any, like I'm not trying to be melodramatic or I'm not trying to be dramatic about it, but it feels dramatic. Like <laughs> it does feel like a big moment for me. It is. So. I get to start the year off with something big. I'm reading a book. I'm reading two books right now. I'll show you them. I'm reading these two. Tribes by Seth Godin and The 4-Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. And I've heard they're great books, so and they are so far. I'm on like page 50 on both of them. The 4-Hour Work Week is talked about by a lot of people and tribes I heard Joe Rogan talk about and he's pretty cool so I want to see what it's all about I went to Myrtle Beach as a child <laughs> but I've never visit Atlanta before so we'll see it's winter down it's <laughs> it's winter down there no it's winter here and there it's just not snowy there maybe so it's snowy here in Michigan but in Georgia I don't think there's gonna be snow, so that's good. That's good for my car. I'm not gonna get rust on it and stuff like you do here. All right, dude, um, I'm gonna drink this wine and watch Game of Thrones, so. That's about it for today. <laughs> That's about it, so I, I go now. Oh. oh, the wine I'm drinking is called, the wine I'm drinking is called Sleeping Bear Red. I'm assuming based on the Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes because it's a Michigan company. My sister and my mom bought like 24 bottles of this wine from this Michigan company and I love it. <laughs> Wine's pretty cool. I like wine. Who doesn't like wine? Come on. Everybody likes wine. You, yeah. You're lying if you say you don't like wine. It tastes good. You get a little tipsy. How can you not like it? I mean, for real. How can you not like wine? Red wine? You're telling me you don't like red wine? Come on. It's so good. <laughs> it's impossible. You know, I think... I think I'm really nervous, but, like, I think... The fact that I booked this is like lifting my spirits a little bit because I've been feeling so trapped living in my parents' basement and not doing much, just sleeping in and running a bit and working a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of strange, but I guess maybe that's good. Everything's kind of strange right now. 2020 has been nothing but strange. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Enough of you. You look amazing. Don't forget that. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about you, the person watching.